Next, we're going to move on to range of motion, including strength against resistance of the major muscles and joints. So first, starting out with my patient's head, I'm going to have my patient do forward flexion of the neck, so tilting forward. Then we have backward extension, so that is lifting the head, looking back. Lateral, I want you to think lateral flexion, you lean. So dropping your ear to your right shoulder, and then your ear to your other shoulder. Very good, so that is lateral flexion of the cervical neck. So think lateral, you lean. Next, we'll do rotation. So don't you shake your head, no way, Jose. Very good, so that is rotation of the neck. Next, I'm gonna have you elevate your shoulders up and drop them back down. Very good, so and if you remember from our cranial nerve video, cranial nerve 11 also assists in this and helps us to move our neck in all those directions. So since our patient had full range of motion, the next thing I'm going to add is I'm gonna check the strength against resistance. So we're going to do these directions again, but I'm gonna add some resistance to each direction. Essentially, he's going to be pushing it against opposing muscle forces. So go ahead and push backwards against my hand. Good, looking back. And now go forwards, push, push, push. Very good. Now to the side, lateral flexion. So push against my hand, lateral push. Very good. And so next, I'm gonna have you shrug your shoulders up against my hands. Very good. Now hold your shoulders up and don't let me push you down. Wonderful. So since the patient had full range of motion, and that first one was that active range of motion, meaning the patient did it without any assistance. If it were passive range of motion, that would mean that the nurse or the practitioner is having to help them a little bit further through. Typically we do that if there's any type of limitations that are seen. So the patient had full range of motion of that cervical spine and also had full strength against resistance. We give that a score, or we call that a grade, of five out of five, or we call it five plus, which would mean, again, full range of motion and full strength against resistance. In just a little bit, I'm gonna break down what would it mean if they got less than that top score, that five out of five, because they could get a four, a three, a two, one, or zero, so stay tuned. Nursing school is hard work. SimpleNursing.com makes it simple. We take your classroom lectures and notes to create a handcrafted study plan with specialized videos and visual study guides that highlight only the top-tested need-to-know key points, coupled with thousands of practice questions to test your knowledge, all neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free today. Visit SimpleNursing.com.